This is Ralph Irvin at Jackie Robinson Stadium. It's Christmas break, but it doesn't mean that there isn't reason to talk baseball because UCLA has been active all fall. We're here with UCLA head coach uh, John Savage. And coach, first off, how'd the uh, fall camp go for you? It went very well. I mean, our guys played with a ton of energy and there was a lot of competitiveness uh, within the program. Uh, we had a good recruiting class that came in and and with our junior class being so uh, experienced, it, it was very competitive. Well, and you talk about that junior class, their freshman year, they went to Omaha, and a lot of them played um, meaningful uh, innings. Yeah, no question. I mean, you got to talk about Cody Regis and Bo Amaral and, and Kiefer and Jelich and Brown and, and Heineman, and you talk about a lot of experience there that have won uh, the Pac-12 championship last year and played in Omaha the previous year. So. Uh, we're expecting big things and leadership roles out of the, a lot of those guys. Now, that's a lot of position players. Same as not, can't be said on the mound because it's it's a whole new uh, lineup, really, of pitchers for you. Yeah, I mean, pretty much so. I mean, Plutko will be back in that rotation. He was as good as any starter, uh, Sunday starter in the country last year. And we feel very confident with Zach Weiss and Scott Griggs and Nick Vandertig. And so uh, we're excited about our, our pitching. It's young. But um, and and untested, but we feel it's talented, and you know you got to regroup, and uh, you know our strength uh, really uh, we think will be on the position player side, and and our test uh, our big test will be on the mound, and we're looking forward to those challenges. Well, to follow up with the pitching, I mean, you talk about Plutko and Weiss; they certainly showed what they're made of at the end of the season last year, showing that they're ready to be, you know, really leaders of this staff. No question. I mean, Plutko pitched an elimination game and, and, and pitched really, really well against USF. And I think he had an ERA around two for 107 innings and remarkable numbers. And then Zach Weiss uh, threw almost 60 innings, and he was very competitive and threw great against Irvine in the final game. And so both those guys have experience and talent that we think that we can kind of carry the torch and get those guys into the rotation and, and uh, have them perform at a high level. Well, and then that third starter, one of the guys vying for it is Vandertig, who was the closer. You've had success in that regard because Trevor Bauer made the same move from closer to starter. Yeah, yeah, we had. And Dan Klein was a tremendous star, uh, closer the year before, so... Uh, Nick and Scott are battling for that job right now, and I think one of them will end up being a closer. But, uh, yeah, Vandertig is uh, healthy. He's about 18 months off of Tommy John, and it takes a lot of times about that amount of time to kind of get back to where you were, and he's as strong as ever. And, and Griggs had a terrific fall as well, and he's throwing strikes, and he's been up to 94 miles an hour. So we have a lot of talent. We just have to sort roles and see where guys fit and then, and then play the season. And then – the season really gets started just weeks away because you start camp uh, just at the early part of January. Yeah, we start January 9th, and we're excited about that. Our guys are are healthy, and like I said, we have leadership on the position player side, and roles will be established, I think, by, by middle of February when we open up against Maryland. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on a good fall. Enjoy the holidays, and we'll see you back in January. Thanks, Ralph. Appreciate it. That's UCLA head coach John Savage. Once again, the Bruins open their spring camp in January, January 9th here at Jackie Robinson Stadium. And for the best news and notes of UCLA baseball all season long, get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.